Sensory bins are great for kids, because they receive loads of tactile stimulation and it encourages imaginative play. On the other hand they are particularly helpful for children that are tactile defensive. Because these bins usually catch the curiosity of a child, they will often push themselves out of their comfort level to explore. What is a sensory bin? A sensory bin is typically a plastic tub or a large container of some sort filled with materials and objects carefully selected to stimulate the senses. A sensory bin can be filled with a large variety of different materials such as shredded paper, water beads, water, sand, and more. To minimize the mess, first of all, if you're worried about the mess, put a tablecloth, sheet or towel under your sensory bin. That way, you can tip spills back into the bin when your child finishes playing. Alternatively, your kid can play with their sensory bin outdoors where messes won't matter. Give clear instructions. Secondly, give your child clear instructions for playing with the bin. Explain that the contents are not to be eaten or tossed around. Supervise the play to ensure things don't get out of hand, and you'll find that the joy and the developmental benefits that a sensory bin provides will outweigh any mess. A world of discovery in a box. A great sensory bin is like a world of discovery in a box. It encourages open-ended play and provides endless opportunities for experimenting and learning. Sensory bins, bags and bottles are easy and inexpensive to make. They don't require a lot of room. This gives children the opportunity to further their sensory exploration without the need to go to an indoor play place or children's museum. They are an incredibly simple way to incorporate sensory play in your own home or vehicle or classroom. Sensory bins Sensory bottles and sensory bags allow children to explore, discover, Imagine, create, and learn while engaging their senses. Sensory bottles can be created in any empty bottle that has a lid. For younger children, I suggest hot gluing the lid on so that they can't open it. You can fill the bottle with liquids or solids and a variety of items. If you mix clear glue with warm water, you can slow down the movement of the items in the bottle, adding to the calm down effect. Adding heavier items or using a glass bottle creates a weighted sensory bottle.